radishes and sliced it into spiral shapes and add it to a sweet and sour brine. These pickled radishes will pair perfectly with any of your favorite dishes. They are sweet, sour, peppery, refreshing, and super tasty. Wash the cello radishes in running water. You can also replace them with other types of radishes. Cut off the ends of each radish. Place it between a pair of chopsticks and thinly slice from one end to another. Flip. At an angle, slice it again from one end to another. And do the same with the rest of them. At this point, some people like to season the radishes with pinches of salt and rest for about 10 minutes. It helps to remove some of the peppery taste and make them softer. But since I prefer my radishes to be zesty and crunchy, I don't usually do that. So this really depends on your preferences. To make the brine in a small pot over low heat, add the water, sea salt, and sugar. You can add more or less based on your preferences. Stir until the sugar is dissolved and bring it to a boil. Turn off the heat. Add the rice vinegar. You can also replace it with white vinegar or lemon juice. Mix well. Cool down to room temperature. In a sanitized container, add the radishes, garlic, and finger hot pepper. You can also replace it with other types of chili pepper or up it out if you don't want to make it spicy. Pour in the brine. They can be served immediately. For deeper flavors, store them in the fridge for 2 hours to overnight. After 2 hours, the brining liquid will become red. As time passes, the skin will lose their red color and the radishes will become pink. They will last in the fridge for up to one week. You can serve them with your favorite dishes. Enjoy! This is absolutely delicious. It's so crunchy, sweet and sour, peppery. It's just super refreshing. And the best part, it goes with any of your favorite dishes. So when you add the seasoning, you can add more or less based on your preferences. I hope that you enjoyed today's episode. If you like it, subscribe, follow, and like, and I will see you again soon. Bye!